Fun. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Killing Cash here with another. Hey, I haven't done one of these in a minute. Bringing you a food review, a vegan food review. Trying to get back on my healthy. No judgment. I've been searching for something like this. Hard to find sometimes, but when it's hard to find, look on Amazon. So, found these on Amazon. These are Portobello Jerky. Never had these before. If you've had these before in the comment section, let me know your opinion of them. Or if you've had a different brand, let me know your opinion of those and if they're worth buying or not. We're going to go on this journey together because they are unopened. You know, and just off the, 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 the strength, the start, I see that, you know, everything, I mean, it's a decent sized jerky bag. You know, this is made by Savory Wild. I don't know if I've ever had any of their stuff. Don't recall. Um, you know, folks are going to ask. It says it's uh, no preservatives, no fats, but everything says that. No MSG, no, you know, this, no that. But, you know, I see other type of their salt, sugar, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. I know for the purest, and I'll even shout out the Minister of Wellness, might find something in here that is not as healthy, but I don't know that. So I'm going to send this video to you, Minister of Wellness, and you, you can tell me and all you purists who eat raw. I have my own dehydrator, and I'm even thinking of buying a um, real heavy-duty one, spend a good amount of money on a heavy-duty one, because health is definitely wealth. And, you know, you can – I was doing vegan. The whole family was doing vegan and, and vegetarian um, for almost a year. And then we went to Cameroon. And then once you smell that meat and that soy off the ground, it's hard. And then it's hard to even come back. But I don't eat a lot of meat in my diet. Meat's not really something unless we're at Everett and Jones, um, in, in Oakland, California. I don't do a lot of meat. So it's hard, easy for me to stay away from. But, um, you know, when it's an African party, you're like, you get those memories. So opening it, okay, smells like a lot of um, jerky where, you know, they put it in the teriyaki or this is a sesame, ginger, and Korean chili. So, so far it's tasting or smelling, I should say, just uh, like regular jerky. And I'm going to give you my real reaction. You know, I'm not paid for this. I paid for this myself. Um, when you bite into it. Kind of feels like, I mean, because of the look, jerky. Kind of tough to eat like jerky. So if you like that tough feeling of jerky, it will give you that. Mm -hmm. For the first couple bites, you're going to think you're eating jerky. And it's 100% plant-based. And I would say... Right about now, when it's all gone, I know it wasn't jerky, and you can taste the portobello, but they do such a good job of seasoning this up and really letting it dehydrate. This is a great substitute. I would not say that if I wasn't. Let me just get some more bites. Mm-hmm. You know, for snacks, I remember working in the oil field and we would go to the gas station in these little towns that you've never heard of in Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas. And we'd have to eat, you know, the unhealthy whatever that was there. But getting jerky was sometimes the healthiest thing, especially if you don't like to eat like um you know, sausage or, or, or mm -hmm. pork, the pork sausage, especially, you know, at the things. And I would eat this up all day if in the oil field or when I used to work in mental health and do 16 hour days, you know, on the psych ward, supervising the employees and the um, patients at the hospital. So this is definitely something that when doing that, you can bite on because you don't get a, a mental health. You don't get a break either all the time, depending on your job, you know.
I've had multiple jobs where you don't get you don't get help. You don't get help and you don't get to eat. Unless you want to eat with the patients, and sometimes that's an option, and sometimes it's not. So I would say I would buy this again. After my whatever bite this is, you count it. I know I'm eating portobello mushrooms. And I'm not eating meat. But to me, that's a good thing. Because even when I eat a vegan burger, no matter how much spice flavor they put into it, and I've had some great vegan burgers, you know you're not eating meat. But once your palate gets used to that, you're not going to be tripping. You're not going to be complaining at all. Because you also won't feel as heavy. With the jerky, this won't be as hard on the teeth, um, I assume. Uh, with you know this, I, I won't feel like, man, I should not have ate a whole bag. Honestly, when you can't, when you're like, ah, that's not the same thing, you won't eat a whole bag. But this is more, I would think, of a craving and a snack thing. You know, you're taking a trip, going across the country. You could you will munch on this. This might last, you know, who knows? But you ain't gonna eat all this up. Like if I, I can eat all this up. And with jerky from the store, I've eaten it all it up. I don't feel that way right now. And I haven't eaten a lot. They say there's over half a pound of mushrooms in every bag. Um and I don't know the last time that I, you know, went and I don't need a lot of mushrooms if I'm uh out and about. I don't mind like the mushroom burgers if they're done for me, but I don't really like to cook that stuff. Um, Savorywild.com. And it seems like they have social media. You know, they have the Instagram. I'm trying to get it for you. They have the Instagram. They have the Facebook, Twitter. Try to put some of that in the description box if I remember. But yeah, man, this is 100% plant-based jerky. Um, I know I had shared it with a couple people and they're like, oh, wow, I've never heard of that. Me either, but I've been looking for it. Um, and by looking for it done the right way and not too expensive, this was about, I think, five ninety nine on Amazon Prime. I always have a Prime membership. And so, you know, this was a good, uh, this was because some jerkies cost, you know, $20 a bag, depending on where you're buying them from. But even in the discount place, they're going to be three to five. You know, I don't care where you go. You're not getting no jerky for one ninety nine. If you are, look at the the, the look at the uh, expiration, which that's on here. So it's still you know it's good till twenty twenty. So no rush to eat it all. Good jerky, eighty calories. Um, sugars ten. I know some folks will say that's high, but for what I eat and the junk I eat, that's um, that's good. I would say you know trying to eat healthy might might be a little high, but. Um, I, I'm trying to cut the sugar, but I'm an addict. So what, what can I do? I got I to gotta take my time. You can take everything else, but don't take my sugar. Azucar. I need that sugar. Parmenda in Swahili. I need my sugar. Parmenda. Yeah, parmenda. Yeah, I, I need my sugar. I need to be able to say sugar in every language. So I hope you guys enjoy. You know, check that out, Amazon Prime. Let me know if there's some things in the store that you are like, I think I want to buy that, but I don't know. I will spend my money and I'll go buy it to let the world know if it's good. And then somewhere down the line, you know, people will say, oh, we have similar palates, whatnot. He likes sweet. He likes spicy. I don't like bland, so don't send me anything bland. That's my problem with tofu. Just so hard to season to the a, a way that at home, at least for me, where it's like, yeah, this is good because I like good food, quality food. But I've had like soulfully vegan, um, you know, I've had some good stuff, soulfully vegans in Oakland, California. That place, I have not had a vegan place like that, that does soul food. I've been to Eatonville. They had some soul food that was good as well. And, um, but soulfully vegan, I might be biased because it's Oakland. That place, I mean, I, I try to copy the menu at home, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm not there yet, but I hope you guys enjoy. Like, share, subscribe. You know, I got a Patreon. People ask me questions all the time. You can go on that Patreon and get your questions um, answered for like 
you know, a dollar or two or something like that. It's something crazily low. You can also get some help with your business and your ideas. You know, that's what I do. I create um, for you to do that. Writing right now some songs in Swahili, having some fun doing that. It's the summertime. Gotta gotta uh, relax and, you know, just live that life. So check that out. Let's all eat healthier. Let's all give more. Y'all be blessed.